Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to first and foremost start by giving infinite praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rakaf Kadash. All right. We want to say Shalom, Washem, Yakabad, God, Walla, Rakab, Zakwanyam, now. That's double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, Wa Barakim, Labakarim, Shah, Yasha, Allah. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right. Also, Shalom, peace, uh, peace and blessings to the confusing of faces, brothers out there that may not necessarily look like Israelites, but believe in spirit and truth. I'd like to say Shalom unto you as well. All right. Now, me and the brother gather here today and uh pretty much the topic that we wanted to get into is being more confident in the spirit you know being more bold to speak the words of the lord you know not being ashamed to preach the gospel you know all right and we're gonna get straight into it you can grab that first uh that first scripture um, ephesians all right this is ephesians uh three verse eleven and it says according to the eternal purpose which he he proposed in Hamashiach Yahushai our Lord Verse 12, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Yep, and that's right, man. We have access to, to the Heavenly Father, man, you know, by confidence and by faith in Hamashiach Yahushai, you know. Keep going. Verse 13, wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. That's right, man. So we're not supposed to faint at the tribulations that we face. You know, mm -hmm. but we're supposed to uh, stand boldly in the, uh, in, the, in the face of adversity, you know, in the face of temptation, you know, and be confident in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, read, read verse 12 again. Uh, verse 12. In, uh, it says, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith, by the faith of him. Con, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, you get all that, all those things, you know, boldness and access through faith. You know, faith is the key. It's the key part to having boldness and confidence in Yahweh, uh, in Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shah. You uh -huh. know, because without faith, you know, you you start without faith, you start to doubt yourself. You know, you start to doubt. Hey, yeah, am I a man of the Lord? This, that, and the third. But when you have faith, you know, when you have faith, and get confidence through uh, and, and get confidence through that faith, it makes this truth way more easier because you get because. Speaking is a lot. Speaking is a lot easier. The break, getting the breakdowns is a lot easier. You know, just just all around moving in this truth is just easier when you have faith. That's right. Hey, mm -hmm. that's why the scriptures say this, bro. I got this precept for you. There's uh, Hebrews eleven and six. You know, very common scripture. It says Hebrews eleven and six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You mm -hmm. know. And that's, that's exactly, uh, basically what the brother was saying, man. You know, you will be more confident to speak these words. You know, mm -hmm. you will be more uh, 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 bold in the spirit. And actually, can you get that, um, can you get that in the blue letter? The word boldness, uh -huh. you know, uh, for that verse. Uh -huh. I wanted to get a little bit um, deeper into it, you know, Lord willing. Uh -huh. All right, but I'm going to read that again. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a warder of them that diligently seek him. Now, you got that word? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, uh, This is boldness, and the transliteration uh, is... Play. So, uh, Strong's G, 3954. Parecia. Parousia. Yep, it says it's parousia, and it says freedom in speaking, unreservedness in speech, openly, openly, frankly, without concealment, without ambiguity or uh, circumpulation, without the use of fingers or comparisons. Free, fearless confidence. See that? <laughs> Free, fearless confidence. And as a matter of fact, could you uh, could you start at the beginning again? Yeah, it says freedom in speaking, unreservedness in speech. Openly, frankly, without concealment. And that's right, man. So we, we go out there in the face of these devils, man. We tell them that their kingdom is going down, man. You yeah. know? We go there uh, uh, in the face of, uh, of the enemy, all right? And we tell them straight up, man. All right? Why? Because we're bold in the spirit of the Lord. We're bold in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. If Yahweh Shah was on earth today, he would be doing the same thing that we're doing, man. Yeah. You know? The scriptures say, put on the mind of Hamashiach, you know? 
You want to, just gonna say something? Uh, no, nah, I was just saying when we when we go when we go out there, that's that's bo- that's boldly you know speaking the word, you know, right. because this this thing is not meant to be swept under the rug, done in secret. You know, yep. we, we we're supposed to go out and tell these devils that their kingdom is falling up down and the nation of Israel is rising up. That's you right. Know? Even though that the uh, that the things that we speak, you know, are in code and only you know only the elect only a certain amount of people are gonna get. You know, we still go out. Uh, you know, week in and week out to to try to, to try to seek those men that will understand this and to come and and we go that uh, there out to edify and condemn too. That's right. You know. Yep. Uh, yeah. Read that one more time, bro. Uh, yeah. This is uh, you know, boldness in the blue letter. It says freedom in speaking, unreservedness in speech, openly, frankly, without concealment. Yeah, without concealment, and that's another thing that I wanted to too, uh talk about too, is that there's also two sides to it. You know. Because, yeah, we're bold in the spirit, but brothers is also humble amongst the brotherhood, mm-hmm. you know? But but also, there's a, uh, uh, you know, some people have the misconception of thinking that being humble is just being quiet, mm-hmm. you know, or not speaking at all, you know? There's, there's a such thing as making a humble statement, you know? Maybe you might say something, and it might further edify uh, uh, what the brother was saying, you know? Or maybe you might say something, and it might further bring out the brother's point, you know? That's making a humble statement. You know, furthering the gospel, because ultimately that's really what it's about. Yeah. You know, it's about the furtherance of this truth. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, do you finish that? I mean, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It says free, fearless, confidence, cheerful, courage, boldness, assurance. The deep, the the the, the deport, the deportment by which one becomes conspicuous or secures publicity. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah. Kind. Yeah. So I'm gonna jump to um. We're going to jump to Ephesians, the first chapter, all right? Because this is the example that Paul gave us, okay? So this is um, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 12. But I, would, but I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Mm-hmm. And that's right, man. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the things in the scriptures that happened to, uh, to Paul, uh, he, he went through a lot of things, man. He was shipwrecked, you know. He was uh, stoned to death, beaten to death, all right. But guess what, man? He still stood boldly in the face of adversity. He stood boldly through all the things that he went through, man, to still preach the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, you know, to still further this gospel, all right. And matter of fact, we're going to get some examples, too. Right. We get some examples. Um, can you get 1 Corinthians, so like your 2 Corinthians... 12 and uh, 26. Alright, because it tells you a few of the things that Paul went through. Yeah, this is uh, so like 11, 11 and 26. Yeah, that's what it's good. This uh, Second Corinthians 11, verse 26. And the journey means often in perils of waters. So like you start at, yeah, start at verse means- uh, Start at, start at verse 25. 25. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 25. Yeah, it's, it's really a lot on it. <laughs> uh, Thrice I was beaten with rods. Yeah, because, Salaki, Salaki, Akin, 23. Because even 23. before that, it tells you some uh, things that he went through. Okay. You know? This is uh, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 23. And it says, Are they ministers of Hamashiach? I speak as a fool. I am I am more in labors more uh, more abundant in stripes above measure in prisons more frequent in depths off yeah and this is really uh if you if you read the full chapter earlier it was talking about he was he was pretty much uh saying rhetorical questions to the uh, wicked scribes and the Pharisees you know so he was saying that compared to them he said he said are they ministers of Hamashiach I speak as a fool because he because he knows that they weren't you know, it says, I am more and labor is more abundant and stripes above measure and prisons more frequent and deaths often. You know, so those are those are the some of the so like, those are some of the things that the true prophets are right, that the true men of the Lord are going to go through in these times. You know, because the same thing happened to those uh, to the men in the ancient world, man. All right. During Paul's time. OK. And now you have it where you got dudes coming up the camp pulling guns out on brothers, you know? Mm-hmm. So who knows 
what's going to happen as the, as the time continues to climax, you know, as, the, as, as wickedness continues to increase in this place and as we continue to increase in the spirit? Who knows, man? Because that <laughs> is just, you know, it's like this, man. It's like it's like uh, like it says in Ezekiel, set that face, set that uh, set that face against their face, you know, hard as a rock. Matter of fact, let me grab it real quick. But um, you could you could keep reading on that, bro. Come on. Uh, this uh, Second Corinthians eleven verse. Uh, I'm gonna start back at uh, twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. Are they are they ministers of Mashiach? Of a Mashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more, in labors more abundant, in stripes above measures, in prisons more frequent, in deaths up. You know, and that was a confident statement. You know, he said, "I am more," because he 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 knew. He knew what what Yahweh shot. He he knew what Yahweh shot one wanted of his servants, you know, okay. and it wasn't and it wasn't what those uh, uh, scribes and Pharisees were pushing, you know. That's okay. a confident statement, you yeah, know. Let me read this real quick. This is Ezekiel chapter three verse yeah. eight. Behold, I had made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead against their foreheads, and as an adamant, Salakia, and as an adamant harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And that and that's that was the most high talking to Ezekiel, man, because the scriptures say that our people are rebellious people, man. The scriptures say that uh, two thirds of our uh, two thirds of our people are their father, the devil. You know, so as the as the times are increasing in wickedness, as our people two thirds of our people are increasing in wickedness, we're increasing in the spirit, man. You know, and they they hate the spirit of uh, of the Lord, man. They hate the spirit of Hamashiach. You know, so who knows what things that or what adversities we might actually be facing in those times, you know. But um, we could jump. You can jump back to that. You can jump back to that. I just wanted to grab that real quick. Come, come. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna start back at. I'm gonna go back. Uh, to twenty four. That's it. Well, actually, I'm gonna start back at twenty three. Uh, it says, "Are they ministers of Hamashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more and labors more abundant in stripes above measure." In prisons more frequent, in deaths off, of the of the Jews five times received I own, uh, received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day have I been in the deep. Yep. So he said he he been through shipwreck, he was beaten to death, he was stoned to death, all of these things, man, you know. And it even continues in verse 26. Yeah, 26. Yeah, go ahead. It says, In journeying in journeyings often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen. Yeah, and the word perils means danger. You know, so he was in he was in perils of all these things, man. You know? So when I can go out there, man, we're we're actually literally putting our lives on the line, man. Yeah. You know, when you count the cost of this thing, you gotta understand that your life may come with that. You know, exactly. but that's the fight that the men of the Lord are putting up, man. Exactly. All right, to combat this world, man. Why? Because we're bold in the spirit of a Mashiach was shot, man. Hey, even when Paul was stoned to death, he he was raised back up. The, the spirit raised him back up, and he went back to the same city, man, and preached the word of the Lord. You know, so who's to say the Most High won't do that for us, man? Who who's to say that uh, if we're stoned, if we're beaten to death, that our spirits won't be raised back up? You know. Lord always gives examples, man. Yep. Lord always gives good examples. Yeah, the scriptures say the things that were written the fourth time were written for our learning. learning. Come. You know? Why? Because we're going to go through those same things exactly. that the men of the Lord went through back then. You know? Actually, those same men are on earth today. You know? Come. So keep going. Uh, uh, verse 26. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start back at the top. In journeying is often in perils of waters, in perils of... Uh, of robbers in perils by my own countrymen in perils by my own countrymen who's that speaking of that's speaking of a uh, 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 fellow israelites man mm -hmm. you know so we're in perils by our own people man yeah you know they want to put us to death yeah you know yeah but the spirit of the lord got us out there man it says uh keep going yeah in perils by by the heathen yep in perils by the, in the city in perils in the wilderness, in perils of in the sea, in perils among false brethren. In perils among false brethren, man. You know, so there's even brothers, uh, that that uh, that are gonna take take that Judas purse, man. Mm -hmm. You know, brothers that are gonna sell you out, man. Exactly. You know. But even within that, 
why does it say that? Because it says imperils, imperils by the heathen. You know, who's the top heathen of the earth today? The so-called white man, mm -hmm. you know? So you're going to have uh, two-thirds of our people that are going to cleave unto, unto their father, the devil, man, mm -hmm. you know? But guess what, man? Through all of that, Paul still stood boldly, man. Mm -hmm. He still preached the word of the Lord, no matter what, you know? And that's the same spirit that the men of the Lord are going to be in today. All right? So, um... Did we finish that on Philippians? Uh, We're going to jump back to Philippians. Uh, and then after that, uh, I got one in Sirach. Uh, yeah, so this Philippians chapter chapter 1 verse chapter 1 verse 12, but I but I would you should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, so that my so that my bonds and Hamashiach are manifest in all the all the palace and in all other places. And many brethren of the Lord waxing confident in my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. And that's right, man. So really, we're doing it for the body. You know, we're doing it because there's brothers under us. There's always brothers on the outskirts, you know. There's always brothers watching us, man. You know, that are that are uh, trying to join into the ranks as well, man. You know, you guys gonna say something? You have to be selfless in this truth. Exactly. You, know? you can't only be in this thing for yourself, you, you know. When you're in this truth, to a certain point, you, uh, I mean, you know, after a certain point, you have to be, you have to do this for your nation, you know, if, right. it, if it need be, if you have to put your life on the line for your nation, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't, even if you don't want to do it for yourself, just do it for your nation, you know, Current. do it for your nation, you know, yep. because this is, this isn't about, in the, this isn't about, you know, the majority, it's about the elect at That's the right. end of the day, you know, the Lord's chosen. That's right. Yep. Uh, I'm going to skip down to verse 20. There's Philippians 1 and 20. It says, According to my earnest expectation and my hope that nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Hamashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. You know? So, hey, whether it, whether it comes to that, man, whether it comes, comes to death, mm -hmm. we still have to stand boldly in the face of adversity, man. You know? That's why the scriptures say in Matthew's, um, I believe it's the 10th chapter, uh, verse 28, you know, fear not them that which can kill the body, but the most high who can kill the body and the spirit, okay. you know? So we don't fear these devils, man. These devils don't put no fear in our heart, all right? Why? Because we have the fear of the Lord, and the fear of the Lord triumphs uh, 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 all fear, yeah. you know? The fear of the Lord is above all those uh, uh, fears, man, yeah. you know? Because we know that our Lord, the, mo the, the, the most high, Created these devils, man. It's the scriptures. The scriptures already prophesied uh, the things that we about to go through before we even go through them. You know. Yeah. He's gonna say something, bro. I just want to say, you you know, the, the fear of the Lord has to trump your fear of death. You yeah. know, you really you really have to fear the uh, the Most High more than you fear than more more than you fear death. You know, and and the thing is is that you know death is the ultimate sacrifice. You know, after death, that's it. You know. So there's literally no more than uh, that you could give up to uh, give to the Most High than your life, you know. Yeah. Uh, the scriptures say, uh, uh, "Bear your cross," you know. Time. Yeah, the scriptures also say too, um, "Precious is it in the sight of the Lord the death of the saints," huh. you know. Why? Because like like the brother said, man, that's the ultimate sacrifice. You know, that's the ultimate thing you could do to uh, uh, please the heavenly Father, man. And ultimately, we're already dead in this world, man. Come. You know. We crucified ourselves once we came into this truth. Yeah. So what what more do we have to lose? You know? What are we attached to in this world? And if you are attached to anything, you gotta check yourself, man. Exactly. You know, you gotta examine yourself in the spirit. You know? We're not supposed to have no attachments to this world, man. No. Nothing. At all, man. Not family, not your women, not not uh possessions. No. There's nothing that you can be attached to in this world, man, because that's that's where Satan can creep in. And that's where he can he can get you, man. Exactly. He can get you through that, you know. Exactly. Because because when you get attachments, you start you you start to get weak. You yep. know those atta those things that you get attached to can be those same very things that will pull you out of the truth. Exactly. You know. Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna read this verse. Um, continuing on, Philippians one and twenty one, for for to me to live is Hamashiach, and to die is gain. That's right, man. So for us to live, we have to be in the spirit of Hamashiach, man. 
To live is a mashiach. And what is a mashiach? The spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. And what do we do? We prophesy. All right? Because prophecy, uh, uh, the scriptures say, uh, uh, when, when all of the men of the Lord, when the 144,000 elect men return unto the Lord, all right, when this, when this gospel is preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come, mm -hmm. you know? And that's exactly what we're rooting for, man. We want the yeah. end to come to this place, man. Exactly. To all this wickedness, man. And with all boldness. Yep. You know? It's not, oh, maybe the Lord might come. It, the Lord will come. The yep. Lord will come. And he's coming very soon. That's right. That's you right, know? man. Yeah, the scriptures say the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Exactly. You know? So once the Lord said it, it already happened. Once the once the prophets wrote these uh words on the uh words on on the on the paper, man, on the scrolls, it it was already done, man. Yeah. Scriptures also say, uh, though it tarry, wait for it because yep. because it won't tarry, it shall surely come. Yep. So whatever is written in these books shall surely come, you That's know, right. and it'll come in due time, you That's know, right. and that due time is in our lifetime, and we believe that with all with with all faith and boldness. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this is um. Uh, that was it on that. There's uh, Sirach chapter 42. Matter of fact, can you grab it for me? Yeah. Sirach chapter 42 and 1. You know, because it gives you a list of things that you're not supposed to be ashamed of. You know, and this is this is uh, the spirit that we come in when we're out on the highways and hedges. Go uh -huh. ahead, bro. It's Sirach chapter 42, verse 1. It says, Of these things be thou, uh, be not thou ashamed, and accept no person to sin thereby, of the law of the Most High and his covenant. And of the judgment to justify the ungodly. Yeah, and that's the first thing, man. Of the law of the Most High and His covenant, uh, and His covenant. That's why we 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 preach to the people what repent or die. You know exactly. That it says, except no person is sinned thereby. Yeah. You know, so two can't walk together lest they be agreed. Huh. You know, huh. we can't come together with all these uh uh um uh, religions with Islam. Okay, we can't come together with Christianity. All right. It's either yeah. the truth or, uh, yeah. or nothing else, man. Yeah. You know? It's going to say something, bro. Yeah, you can't be ashamed of the Most High and His laws. Because the scriptures say, uh, if, if, you den uh, if you deny me, I'll also deny you. Yep. You know? So you can't, you can't be... If, you, if you're ashamed in the, in the Most High and His laws and His statutes and His covenant, the Lord will be ashamed at you. You know? That's right. You know? Yep. Yeah, keep going, bro. Uh, uh, this is verse 2. And it says... Uh, well, actually, I already read that. Uh, verse 3, it says, of reckoning with thy partners. No, uh, you didn't finish verse 2. I didn't finish it. Yeah, yeah read it read it again. Yeah. Uh, this is, I'm going to start back at 1. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 42, verse 1. And it says, of these things be, uh, be, be not thou ashamed, and accept no person to sin thereby, of the law of the Most High and his covenant, and, the, and of the judgment to justify the ungodly, of the reckoning with thy partners and travelers or of the gift of the heritage of friends. Yeah, and that, that's pretty much the point of that, man. You know, of the gift of the heritage of friends, man. And the gift that was given unto us was what? Faith, man. Mm -hmm. Faith to have, uh, 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 having faith in, in, in our heritage, which is what? The laws of life, you know, which goes back to what? The laws, statutes, and commandments, you know. Now, ultimately, we have faith that in the kingdom of heaven, those law, statutes, and commandments are going to be within our spirits, mm -hmm. you know? So we're not going to have to go off anymore, man, yeah. you know? Hey, so you had anything else, bro? No. Yeah, that was it on that, man. Hey, so with that, man, we'd like to give infinite praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rekav Kodash, you know? Like to say, uh, Shalom, wa Hashem, Yikabah, God, Wala, Rekav, the point now with double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom, wa Barakim, Labakarim, Shah Yasha Allah, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.